Well everyone, James here from JVC Paints. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a fantastic Ancients update for you guys. Uh, this is part two of my uh, Gallic Anvil unit for uh, Hail Caesar. Um, these figures are from Victrix. I'm going to talk you through what I've done. They're all painted up. The shields are done. I'll show them later. I'll take some snaps of these guys later because they're in this giant mob. You can't really see what's going on. Uh, but how I did the unit here, um, basically I've got... Uh, about, I've got 19 here with the uh, swords drawn. I've got uh, 19 here with spears. I've got four with uh, spears and swords with the, uh, you know, uh, carrying a severed head. Uh, and then uh, we've got uh, here in the front, we've got uh, 12 different command guys here as well. Um, when I painted them, uh, if you do do these figures, um, this is some advice I'd give you to sort of speed up the process because this, this took quite a while for me. Um, I did them in groups of three. You have six guys on the sprue. Um, so I would do the three shirtless guys at a time or I'd do the three with the shirts at a time um, just to, for the sake of ease because you're either doing a lot of flesh or you're doing clothes. And with the clothes, the combos, uh, usually I pick three or four colors and I would just mix and match them, you know, so one guy's got brown pants He's got it in a gray shirt. The other guy has a gray gray pants and a green shirt and The other guy has green pants and a brown shirt kind of thing um, uh, I would also do all the spears at the same time So I do three spear guys at the same time or I do three sword guys at the same time And that was just to, to keep the the speed and the pace going because there were a lot of guys here um and this time out, uh, I went uh, I went out of my way to use all of the cloaks and uh, the little extra bits for the helmets and things. Um, you can definitely see it on the command. Uh, I think there's only one guy over here who doesn't have something on top of his helmet. The rest of them all got a plume or the flappy bird guy or, or a little pig or whatever like that. And you can also see just in the back here, you'll see in the photos later, you know, we've got guys here, for example... Uh, with feathers and things like that. Um, the command, um, six of them came with the set, uh, whereas the other six were leftovers from the chariot. So, uh, and on these guys here in the front, uh, as you can see, oops, I went for a little bit more color, a little bit more bright. These guys would be a little bit more wealthier, I'm sure. They're more, you know, up in their, their warrior cast. Um, I also did, and I'll just bring it out here real quick, and I'll, I'll, you're going to have to see my fingers, I think. But uh, I'll put them this way. There we go. Got f good focus on him. Oh, he's kind of focused, I suppose, eh? Maybe so so. Oh, there we go. That's probably a bit better. I did the last druid from the uh, chariot set, uh, and along with him, I did uh, the uh, the driver. And uh, I'm going to use these guys as and also, oh yeah, and I also uh, decided to use the, one of the German standards and with the the wild boar on it. Um, these guys are going to go towards a, a command stand, um, and uh, hopefully it'll be like a cool little vignette. Um, so what's left for these guys? Um, I've got basing. That's what I'm doing today. I'm doing them on 40 by 40 bases uh, with three guys per base. Um, so for the anvil, that would be 18 bases. And we're going to aim for uh, nine bases wide by two bases deep. Uh, but I'm going to also set it up so I can cut. I'm going to half some of the bases so that I can uh, have it reformed to six wide, three deep, and keep the command in the center. And I'm also going to set it up that I can have them in two separate units uh, of 27 guys, which would be a frontage of four and a half. Uh, 40 by 40 bases and uh, two deep. So, um, yeah, I'll take some photos of these guys. I'll make sure that I'll put the, some photos up here and then we'll talk about the shields. Here are the shields for the unit. Uh, there's 51 of them. Um, there are 54 guys in the unit, but I only need 51 shields as both musicians don't have a shield. And uh, one of the more buff boss sort of warrior guys has two swords out, so uh, he's not going to have a shield either. Um, the secret weapon to doing shields freehand I have found in, is uh, two things. First off, uh, I have a Windsor Newton triple zero brush, which I think I bought off of Amazon for probably about... I don't know, maybe five dollars. It was seven hundred eighty yen, so that's like five bucks, I reckon. Um, and uh, those uh, zooming goggles, those painting goggles that you have to wear as an old man. Um, without this brush, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of the checks. And I started doing the rims, as you can see. I've, I've done the rim on the shield here with little triangles. And there's a few more examples of them too, but I can't seem to find them because I'm an old man. And oh, there's one. Uh, and I need glasses in my real life. Um, so I'll just kind of move this up here so you can take a better look at them. Um, yeah, the designs, yeah, some of them are really good and some of them are crap, okay? So, guilty as charged. Um, the better ones, of course, are going to go in the front, uh, whereas the crappier ones will probably be in the, the third and fourth ranks. Um, some of them are kind of weird, hippy-dippy kind of, you know, this looks like something out of, like, you know, San Bernardino or something like that. I mean, the colors, 
this one I just got, I mean, I just, I was like, okay, I'm going to be lazy and make an Irish flag. And I used the orange here and just went crazy with the scrolling. So, um, but, uh, and of course I've done the obverse on all the shields as well. Uh, I've done the wood pattern and, and the, the iron work and things like that. I'll just flip them all over. They're all done too. So that's what I'll be looking at when I'm playing. So um, I'll take a snap of this and you can sort of take a look at it as, as you would. Take a couple snaps. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap this video up. So this weekend I'll be doing the basin for these guys. Um, I've got the plastic card bought. I got to cut it up into the appropriate sizes here. I'm also thinking about making a movement tray for them because it's such a large unit and it'll be good for gaming and uh, just for display. So that's it for me, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave comments and criticisms below. Um, if, you, if you're if you hung around this video this long, please give me a like. Uh, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, that would be great too. Um, hope all your painting and modeling, gaming uh, projects are going swimmingly well for you and that you have a great weekend. So uh, we'll see you in the next one and keep those brushes moving. Bye-bye.